I'm Scott Baker from the BCast with new information about safe school czar Kevin Jennings and his admiration for the legendary gay rights activist and NAMBLA supporter Harry Hay. The key question here, did Jennings, in a textbook that he edited, point to material that casts Hay's NAMBLA associations in a sympathetic light? I think you will see that it did. I assume you know a little bit about Kevin Jennings, educator, author, founder of the Gay, Lesbian, and Straight Education Network, and as we said, the Safe Schools Czar in the Obama administration. Even if you know Jennings' name, you might be a little bit less familiar with Harry Hay. So let me give you the 10-second biography there. Labor organizer, member of the Communist Party, founding member of the Mattachine Society, the first gay rights organization in the country. Now, I'm recording this on Thursday evening, October 8th, and it was a bit of a surprise to me that it turns out it's GLBT History Month, and today, October 8th, is Harry Hay Day. Harry Hay founded the Mattachine Society, the first American gay organization. For more information about the 31 GLBT icons, visit glbthistorymonth.com. Now, I wanted you to be able to hear from Harry Hay himself, so I found a trailer to a documentary, Hope Along the Wind, The Life of Harry Hay. Here's a clip from that. I can still feel the sense of rebirth in me, putting down these words, hoping that they would reach the others as they were reaching me. You see, the, the Madison Brotherhood was not just political. It was very much a brotherhood. We spoke of it as the Golden Brotherhood. Now, it was Hayes' role as a gay rights activist that clearly inspired Kevin Jennings. Jennings is the author of a number of books, and he is the editor of a textbook for high school students about gay and lesbian history. In fact, I went to my local library tonight and found a copy. Here it is. It's called Becoming Visible, a Reader in Gay and Lesbian History for High School and College Students. Back cover right there. There are 17 chapters in the book. Only two of them focus on individuals. Let me zero in a little bit. You can see chapter 11. It says, Harry Hay and the Beginnings of the Homophile Movement. Now, again, this is a textbook. Jennings is the editor. The Hay chapter here is drawn from material in another book. That book, I also have a copy of it, is called The Trouble with Harry Hay by Stuart Timmons. Get you a cover here. Jennings, in his textbook, does write an intro to the chapter that pulls from this book. Right? And he, Jennings also writes the study questions about it, including some exercises into uh, role-playing about a various events in Harry Hay's life. I want to be very clear here. The chapter in the Jennings textbook that includes material from the book about Harry Hay does not mention Hay's association or support of NAMBLA. doesn't warn about it either. The Timmons book does contain that information. As I was reading through it, let me tell you a little bit about what I found. Timmons writes about, and I'm quoting here, one of the most newsworthy feats, he says, of Harry Hay's life. It became, in fact, known as the Harry Hay Incident. This goes back to uh, 1986. Hay marched in a uh, Los Angeles gay pride parade. The organizers did not let everybody march. They banned a local politician who was involved in a scandal, Valerie Terigno, and they also banned NAMLA, the North American Man-Boy Love Association. Hay decided to march in this event, wearing a sandwich board that uh, Timmons describes as made of cardboard and muslin and trimmed with pinking shears. Now, just a few minutes ago, the editor of the website zombietime.com sent me a picture that he just uncovered that shows Hay at that march wearing the sand sandwich board. On the front, you can see it says, Valerie Terigno walks with me, meaning she'd been banned from the march. He was outraged by that, said she's walking with me in spirit. Then let's flip to the other side. And you see, in large letters, Nambla walks with me. I'm going to quote Timmons from the book, The Trouble with Harry Hay, about this. Harry was appalled by the hypocrisy of the self-appointed gay establishment 
that would declare a section of the gay community unrespectable. He could not contain his outrage. Now, this led to a rather bizarre standoff that day. You had uh, policemen on horseback, you had angry parade organizers, and then it was actually apparently a Harry Hay fan who ran up and ripped this off of Harry Hay's neck, fearing that he might actually be arrested. The important thing that I want you to understand is that the book here about Harry Hay, the Timmons book, does not condemn Harry Hay's support of NAMBLA. In fact, the author calls Hay's critics self-righteous. And then he explains Hay's motives about NAMBLA sympathetically. I'm going to quote here again. Timmons writing, he, meaning Harry Hay, told the story of Matt, his 25-year-old first love, when he was only 14, and pointed out that, and this is a direct quote from Harry Hay, having molested an adult when I was a child until I found out what I needed to know, end quote, he had a different perspective on the issue. And what I'd like you to note here that I think is important is this is not a small episode in the book. In fact, it is the dramatic conclusion to the book. And that's why the material from this book being put into Harry Hay's textbook becomes important to me. It not only bases the chapter section on the book, there are some reference notes in the book that reference the Timmons book. Now, those references point to specific pages, and within those pages, the story I just recounted to you about Harry Hay's stand in support of NAMBLA. I'd also want you to know that Hay's support of NAMBLA was not a uh, one-time event. The Zombie Time website that I mentioned has a lot of information uh, about various NAMBLA events that Hay attended. That's him on the end there, and I have one other perspective from that event, uh, including we have, uh, this I think was uh, in the 80s, and this one's from 1994, a march in New York City. That's Hay in the middle, and behind him there is a NAMBLA banner, the darker banner. That's what we know about Harry Hayes' uh, life and participation uh, with NAMBLA, and we know now about the textbook that Kevin Jennings edited, the textbook that lifted up a book that sympathetically portrayed Harry Hayes' support of NAMBLA. I'm Scott Baker.